This is team 4156 for the first robotics competition. It's an international competition sponsored by the industry leaders in technology and NASA. And what the first robotics competition is, it's a chance for high school students, grades 9 through 12, to work with industry mentors and university mentors to develop a robot that's going to play a game, a large game. Um, ours is uh, basketball, the Rebound Rumble this year. And our robot will shoot baskets with two other robots on its team against another team of three robots, and the best robot will win. Yes. We've seen it shoot at five feet. We've almost seen it get to ten feet away. Um, it can climb bridges. We've seen it pick up balls on its own. It can do that. It can load itself. It can calculate its distance from itself to the basket. So we've had it do a lot. We have called it Izzy, which is stands the patron saint of computer science was named Izzy. We started with like the basic competition, you know, what's the main things we're gonna have to do. We decided, you know, basic wheel design, and we're gonna need a throwing arm. First we were thinking kind of a human arm thing, then we realized it's not quite gonna be able to do that, it's a little bit beyond our abilities. So we thought more of like kind of a chuck it toy looking thing and then eventually rolled into we had a track and an arm that swung around through that throwing the ball. For the students, there's an opportunity to apply for upwards of $250,000 worth of scholarships. Um, for our students, it's a chance to mentor high school students um, as a part of their advanced robotics curriculum and get experience working in industry with the manufacturers and the engineering and the programming tools they're going to need when they graduate. I never got to do something like this. I wish I did. So yeah, I think they're pretty lucky. I'm lucky to, to be able to do this too. The UIS students were our mentors. They did things like none of us know how to solder. So they would do things like solder some of the wires into the boards for us. They would explain to us why this programming method probably wasn't the best idea. They would help us mount certain pieces of the robot together so that they worked correctly. They were a big help and they were a lot of fun to be around. We definitely would have been able to finish the robot without them. Would not have. Uh, and they're definitely helpful with like just learning how to do everything, bouncing some ideas off of each other and all the hours they put in to help us with the robot. First we had to learn the, um, the software used to program it. And that took us a good weekend of <laughs> just sitting at a computer and staring at it. From simple things to getting the robot to move forward to complicated switches like what we have the camera set up to now between two people, it was learning constantly this different language and this different way of programming. This has been a labor of love. It is six weeks of intensive engineering and trial and error and frustration and then accomplishment. And when they finally shot that first basket, there was joy. We were excited. I think there's a big sense of accomplishment, especially since I've been here. All, I've been here constantly. I've been able to see it from just movement to the first time we shot it to the first time we got the camera set up and so there's a big sense of accomplishment seeing it all put together now. The more you put into the project the more you get out of it because if you're there every day like you know working on it and then you finally get to you know roll it around test it throw some baskets with it it's amazing.